Personal. Personal development. Personal development. Unplugged. 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 Hey, welcome back to the Five Minute Quickie. And it's with me, Paul Clough. Um, and today I was listening to someone speak on uh, another podcast. And he was talking about smart goals. Now, I don't know if you've heard about smart goals. I mean, I heard about them uh, years ago, absolutely donkeys years ago. In fact, they've been part of my the trainings I first did and the trainings that I give. Um, but what it what it came to me when I heard that, or what came to me uh, when I heard that was, yeah, smart goals are wonderful, uh, simple and specific, measurable achievable realistic and timed five very quick things to check your goals check what you're doing check your to-do list are they the right things wonderful things a, a wonderful little procedure um but my thought was i know that i've known it for ages but how much do i use it i certainly use use it uh, when i'm talking to clients but sometimes with myself maybe not with the timed bit maybe i get all the other bits but my time drifts away a little bit but that gave me, well, a little bit of a thought where I started to think, well, what are all the, what are all the other things, the other things that I've learnt that I don't use or they've just gone in and they've just gone by? Because um, it's not what we know, is it? We may know loads of stuff. Intellectually, we may have all the knowledge under the sun. If we're not using it, it's not really knowledge, is it? It's not doing anything for us. It might as well not be there. And so I was just thinking, I wonder, wonder what it would be like if we just sat back a little bit and went through maybe some of those old training manuals that we've been on. We made all those notes, or, and then they just gathered dust. Now, we made those notes for a reason, and it's a way of reminding ourselves um, the things that we've learned and the things that we're learning now. So I know I'm going to speak on this on a longer podcast, but I just wanted just in these few minutes for you to stop maybe and get the same type of thoughts that I had. That what do I know that I'm not using? And I think you'll find it's loads of stuff. Think of all the books you've read. Have they just gone in one ear, out the other, or two eyes and just disappeared and dissipated? Um, you know, do you make notes of your on your books? Do you go back if you do? Do you look at your notes? Do you reread books to see what's been missing? Because sometimes when you re reread something, you start to see beyond what you've already know. Because when you first read it, obviously you didn't maybe didn't know that much about it, and then as you 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 glimpse the first bit of understanding, when you go back you're you're able to see even more the confusion tends to disappear you get a bit of clarification you get a bit of clearness or clarity that's a better word Paul clarity um, so just a little thing I want you to consider certainly I'm gonna gonna go back and and consider the things that I know that maybe I'm not doing and again I said I will speak longer about this when I've gone through some processes to make us make sure that what we learn if it's useful then we do it because there'll be loads of stuff that you know and some of it either is the same so we can condense it down or some of it is well if you're not using it how useful is it or maybe you need to concentrate you need to bring it home and start to to really set a direction and get a thing called rituals, a thing that you're going to do over and over again. So they become a habit. And then you get that habit of learning, habit of remembering, and a habit of using. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be setting out a longer podcast that's going to go through how we're going to retain information and also how we're going to use this information and how we're going to use the information that we've already got. Because you and I know a vast amount of stuff. And we need to just start using it. Because if we don't, there's not much point, is there? And I know you want to make a difference in your life. And that difference will create the ripples of change that you won't know the boundaries of. And it's going to create that wonderful world that we both really look forward to. You know, creating a world that we want to live in 
and change the people that we meet. Change them. Leave them in a better place than when we first met them. That's a really old, well-used, well-worn statement, but it holds so true to me. So with that, and knowing you can never fail if you never give up, and we're not giving up, so we're never failing. So let's just take some time out and think of what am I not doing that I know? And then when you start that, when you get to the longer podcast, we'll go into some real deep, deep work um, and really get some understandings going and set up some new processes that allow us to use the stuff that's going to propel us into our dreams and realities. Okay, so that's the five minute quickie from me, Paul Clough. Please, if you wish, uh, subscribe. There's a subscribe button somewhere. Uh, and if you just want the audio, you can go to iTunes and look for me, Paul Clough. Hit the subscribe button there. You'll get hundreds of uh, uh, either five minute quickies or longer podcasts. Um, I'm well over 100 now. So join up. Leave a review if you wish. It'd be lovely if you did. And let's spread and make a wonderful world. Okay. From me, Paul Clough, Personal Development Unplugged. See you next time. Bye-bye. Personal. Personal. Development. Personal. Development. Unplugged. 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 Unplugged.